Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here. Uh, I just finished recording the long format of the rules for the February 2023 speed modeling challenge. And the video is like 25 minutes long, so I wanted to make a very short video just to explain the key rules for this challenge. So the challenge is that you go to twotalltoby.com and you go to the tab that says leaderboard, and you're gonna be challenged to create these three parts. Now, if you wanna get a preview of what those three parts are, you can click on this uh, image here, and that'll take you right to my IMGUR where you'll see the three drawings. You're gonna practice, 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 and now you are ready to officially make a recording of yourself speaking speed running these models. Well, before you do that, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna find this button here that says compete. And when you click on that button that says compete, you're gonna see, this is pretty exciting. In February, 2023, we've got a built-in clock right on the website. This should really help you when you're making your recordings and it is required now to get onto the leaderboard. So the way that this clock works is you just take your web browser and you slide it over here to this side of the screen just move your web browser over here like so. And then what you can do is you can take your CAD and you can slide your CAD over this way a little bit. And then you can hit record in order to start recording your times. Here's the answer for the first model, the second model, the third model, just for your reference. And once again, there's a link here to take you to the IMGUR if you want to look at those uh, 2D prints that we created for this challenge. So once you've done your practice and you're ready to actually do your submission, this is what your screen should look like. You should have your cat on one side, you should have the timers on the other. You're gonna click start, and then you're going to click new and create your first model. So the model for that first challenge, a dovetail stop, looks something like this. All right, good, I'm done with that model. So I'm gonna say click here when you're finished with model one. That gives me a time of 13 seconds for that first model, but you can see the clock is still running here and you can see I've got a total time down at the bottom. So I better get started with my second model. So I'll go new, make a part in millimeters. This part looks like it's gonna be a revolved uh, part for that, I think it's a, a tool holder. Okay, that looks good. All right, do the whole model. Show that I've got the mass correct. Remember, you've got to show the correct mass on the screen so that I can see it when I'm reviewing your video. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna click here to stop model two. And now I'm gonna move on to model number three. So I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna make another new part in millimeters here. And uh, I'm going to move this guy over, You know, make that final part. All right, that looks good. That looks perfect. Done, I did it. I showed the correct mass. And now I'm going to click here when finished with model number three. So that gave me a total time of 59 seconds. It gave me my model time for model one, my model time for model two, my model time for number three. And it says, what's your name and what's your CAD system? Well, my name is Too Tall Toby and my CAD system is SOLIDWORKS 2015. And so I'm gonna say submit to leaderboard. And when I do that, you're gonna see, this is pretty cool. Boom, it scrolls down, it shows you the leaderboard and it shows you your submission. But you'll notice that all three of these times are not verified. So what does that mean? Well, you are currently making a recording of your run. I don't know where that recording is yet. I haven't had a chance to watch that recording yet. So what you are going to do is you're gonna you know, finish your recording, touch it up, add music if you want. If you, if you wanna add anything else to the recording, you can. If you wanna just leave it with the screen capture, that's fine too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to this video. This is the, the Synthwave video, uh, the, the February 2023 challenge video. And you're gonna uh, add a comment to that video. And in that comment, you're gonna say something like, hey Toby, here's my video, take a look. And that's gonna have the link to your recording. Maybe you post it on YouTube or LinkedIn or Reddit, wherever you wanna post it, it doesn't matter. All right, and so then I'm going to take a look at those comments, I'm gonna see that link, I'm gonna watch that video, and if everything looks good, what you'll see on the leaderboard is this. So now we can see that next to my name, Too Tall Toby, my video has been verified, which means that I saw the video in the comments, I watched the video, I confirmed that all the rules were being adhered to, and the video link is listed here. And uh, that's basically what the process is. Uh, not a super short video. I thought it was gonna be a little shorter, but I hope that all makes sense. Uh, of course, if you haven't done this challenge before, I encourage you to go through and read all of the rules that are at the bottom here. Uh, this video that I submitted on the leaderboard, the Two Tall Tobies video from February, has all the updated February rules as well. And uh, of course, if you want to watch somebody else running this thing from last month, all the videos from last month are still up and you can click on those links and you can watch those videos 
videos of uh, our amazing runners from the January challenge. But uh, that's pretty much it for this challenge. I hope that this was helpful, having the rules a little more condensed. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, good luck to everyone. I'm very excited to see the times that people are able to put up in this February speed modeling challenge.